Hey guys, this is SP737, and welcome back today to another video inside of my awesome world, and yes, I've gone for a change of scenery, eh, yeah, you know, I got bored looking over that balcony after every episode, so I thought, you know, I'll come down here, start in, like, the main entrance of my house, and, uh, yeah, there I am, <laughs> uh, change of scenery, this is where I used to start my episodes, actually, like, round here, uh, back in the day, and then I went up over there, and now I'm back here, you know, there's no, there's no point being stationary, you know, we like to have a bit of uh, variation, and you know what's the best thing about this? We're right on the doorstep of the glass garden, which is where we're going first, you know, straight in there, straight in there. No, no, it's messing about, running through, taking fall damage from falling down my balcony, you know. I just feel a bit more comfortable, you know, it's just nice to have a change, really, isn't it? Uh, so, yeah, anyway, this is where I add people, uh, you know, I'd like, if they do something special for me, something different, it's just my way of giving a thank you, you know. You know, because I like, I like to give something back, you know, and, uh, and show that I do read the comments and I do notice what you guys do. And this is the best way I can show, you know, on video, you know, you get your name mentioned for, for doing something cool. And today, I'm going to be adding uh, Melody Rakiden. And uh, I'm going to be adding her uh, because she actually uh, sent me some, some builds she made. But I think they were really cool the way she did it. Because, like, look, look, she made, like, a, a big penguin one, and then she made, uh, like, one in the shape of a heart, and then she made one in the shape of, the, like, a bow as well. And I've never, I know, nobody's ever made me one like that, like, in shapes of stuff like that, which I kind of like the idea. And it's that creative spin on, on making me something that, that I liked, and that's, that's, uh, welcome to the glass garden. You know, if you, if you yourselves want to get to the glass garden, then just, uh, send me something you've made on Twitter, or you've done anything to do with me that you think I'll enjoy, uh, or email me at, uh, my emails, uh, sp737outlook.com, uh, either one of them, and then you can, uh, you can have a chance to be in the glass can, you know, you just got to be different and unique and everything, and, uh, we'll go and get a dog as well, uh, of course, we're always going to get ourselves a dog, you can't ever, <laughs> ever go wrong with a dog, uh, so let's see, which dog are we going to go get first, um, right, which dog, I'm going to take you, Lightning, I've had you for a while, so it's nice to have you, hey, have, a, have a steak as well, uh, I'm making, no, we'll give you a steak outside, they're all looking a bit jealous at the moment, just like looking at me, <laughs> okay, well, we'll go outside so they don't hear, eh, so they don't know, okay, so we'll shut that door, you should get yourself outside, uh, are you here? No, you're not coming out, eh? I've got a steak, eh? That was quick. <laughs> All to do was say I had a steak like and then you were jump right out of here. Okay, so anyway, we're gonna go to uh, to Fred's challenge shack now and get our breakfast. We've given <laughs> we've given Lightning his breakfast, but I need my breakfast now. Uh, okay, so here we go. Fred's challenge shack. <laughs> As usual, can't spell. Kill an ocelot. Oh, good morning, Fred, by the way. Watch this. I've, I've noticed a little head bobbing thing you do, right? If you if you jump up here and then you like look down a bit. Right, let me see if I can do it. Look down. No, it's not working. Hold on. Come on, Fred, do it. Form on camera. Now, I was doing it earlier anyway. It's like you look at him. Oh, there we go. He did it. He did this little head bob. You know, it's like Yorkshire people just going, all right? And, you know, and they just bob the head forward and down. You know, I think Fred's got a bit of himself. He was from Stu. Stu's gone home, by the way. Uh, he might be back a bit later, but for now, he's, he's gone back home to his village somewhere. Uh, but anyway, yeah, we've got our reward for tonight. So we have to kill a. What is your view on killing things, right? So last episode, we had to kill a rabbit to get some stew, which we didn't. I mean, which we did. Yeah, we, we didn't do, by the way. Uh, we had, the episode before that, we had to kill a blaze, which was a disaster. Now you want to kill an ocelot. They're difficult to catch as well. Um, yeah, kill an ocelot. Tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to tame an ocelot. And I know what it says on the thing, but as I said, you know, what Fred doesn't know. Can't hurt him, I always say. So, <laughs> you know, that's what I'm gonna go for. So, uh, I've got some raw fish here. Yeah, let's go and let's go and tame an ocelot. Come on, lightning! Uh, don't scare these uh, these ocelots away. By the way, I know there's quite a few in the jungle by them, so we can go and get ourselves a new cat. Cause we've got Anna. I'll go and say hello to Anna as well. Maybe give her a fish just to keep her happy. And uh, yeah, this cat could maybe live with Anna. Do you think? Do you think she'd mind? Nah, I'm sure she'd be okay with that. Hello, Anna. Uh, oh no. Oh well, there you go. You're happy. You can't enter love mode because we're we've maxed out the amount of things we've got. I'm after. Uh, send a few sheep on holiday, as I like to call it. <laughs> anyway, uh, we're gonna go to the jungle, uh, and, uh, and, yeah, it's just, just right, look at it, it's right on our doorstep. And I'm a Jones, face is still there, I'm not, I'm not sure what he's planning, but he hasn't struck for quite some time, so maybe it was a false alarm, maybe he's just trying to scare me and he's not really got anything to sleep. That's what we hope anyway, okay? Uh, that's definitely what I hope. <laughs> uh, right, so, uh, I'm gonna keep going through, I'm starting to get hungry as ever, getting hungry. Uh, what we're gonna do is we jump up these stairs and find ourselves... Uh, an ocelot. Let's see. So they're actually a bit a bit scarce at the moment, aren't they? But they usually have some knocking about somewhere. You just got to find them. Uh, if I can't find any, I'll have to I'll have to give. I couldn't kill one or tame it. You know, I couldn't do anything. Uh, you know, you you do just suddenly spot them out of nowhere. So hopefully we can find uh, an ocelot pretty quickly. Cause I don't want to spend a whole episode trying to find one. <laughs> that would be a, a disaster. Right, I'm gonna have to eat a bit of steak. Didn't want to have to do that, but I think uh, I think we're gonna have to this time. All right, let's have a look. So there's nothing around here. Uh, no, I'm sure. I'm sure there was some earlier. I did see a few crawling about. They might have gone into hiding. They are nocturnal sometimes. Uh, not all the time, though. <laughs> uh, let's have a look. I can't see any. If I don't see any on the way back, I'll just uh, call it a day. 
Uh, sometimes we're over there. Nope, I think I think the ocelots aren't here today. I think they're uh, they're having a day off, eh? A day inside. So it looks like we don't get to get a cat. Oh, I was, was kind of looking forward to getting one, but I guess we you know we can't spend all episode. We might have a little look later, see if we can find one because I would love to tame one. And we've got enough fish for it. Uh, I've actually done any fishing on the new since the new update came out, so I haven't like been able to get any like clownfish or salmon or anything like that. So that's actually something I, I want to do. Uh, some oh, there's two of them there. Hmm. We could try and get to them. Uh, let's see, what have I got in my inventory? Uh, if we just pile up to them, and then if we can tame them, that would be perfect. Uh, let's see. I don't know if I'll be able to or not, because we did have the maximum amount of cats, actually. I didn't think about that. Uh, right, let me see if they'll, they'll come up to me, and... Oh, no, I have to be careful about this. Like, I have to make them walk up to me, rather... Like, they just follow me, but they, they can look at it. Like, it's really annoying getting these things to work. Like, uh, oh, and they fell down there. Like, yeah, they're really tricky. So I'm gonna have to try and do a bit of uh, a bit of improviser. Yeah, like you have to get them to walk up to you, and then you have to do it. And it's they're a nightmare. I'd say I'm not a big fan of ocelots. Right. So what we do is we hold this here, and if you notice, they walk up to me. So we just turn ever so slowly, right? And then when the chance is right, okay, one's run away. That one is. Come on, come on. You are such a, it's annoying, there we go, we got a black cat, there we go, that one over there has been a bit, a bit annoying, his friend's gone now, eh, uh, right, no, I can't, I can't, I can't, no, I've got to, I've got to tame the other one as well, because these are friends of these two, uh, right, come on, come on, yes, there we go, <laughs> we got another coloured cat as well, that's perfect, alright, well, I'm not sure, I'm going to come up with some names from them whilst I'm doing the episode, oh, come on, you two, uh, you as well, there we go. Um, you guys don't actually get hurt from fall damage, do you? So uh, we can actually mine all this away without having to worry. Uh, just need to make sure I don't hit you because I know they don't have much health. <laughs> Imagine if I like killed it. Be like the shortest lifespan of a, of a cat. I think I'm gonna call you. I'm gonna call you Penny and and P Penny and Peter because we haven't got a boy cat. So Penny and Peter, okay? Uh, Penny and Peter, two new cats. They're friends, you know. So that's only it's only right that they should uh, have that right. So uh, let's just mine this away and. Whoop, <laughs> they fell down. <laughs> Thankfully, they're okay. Okay, so we got we got Penny and Peter, and they can go and stay with Anna for now, and we might have to get in their own house at some point, but for now, uh, that's what's going to be happening, right? I'm happy with that. We've got got three pets. Let's see. <laughs> Look at them. They're all nice. Lightning is a very good uh, a good dog anyway, so he's nice. So that, it's like they're kind of racing behind me, <laughs> like zipping forward. <laughs> okay, right. Come on. Let's take you to, uh, to Anna's house, and then we can uh, we can go get our reward fish. We, 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 we removed an ocelot and made it into a tamed cat. Come on. That's as, that's as close as I can bring myself. To, to kill an ocelot, not very close indeed. Okay, so let's uh, let's bring his in. Hey, lightning's the first one in. He's he's straight into these these kitty cats. Uh, there we go. So these two are walking in. So let's put you to sit you down. There you go. Okay, right. Me and lightning are gonna get building because today we're gonna be building a redstone shop. Yeah, we're gonna be building like a shop where you can buy redstone and and stuff like that. You know, any anything redstone related really. Uh, so that's what we're gonna be doing. In this episode, uh, and yeah, yeah. So I, I, as soon as I uh, get over there, hopefully I don't have to go to bed or anything. Hopefully it is uh, is still morning in in time. Uh, okay, so oh, I'm, I want to go around here. Yes, yeah, so the Fred's challenge shack to get my uh, my tea basically now. <laughs> Hello, Fred. Hello, you all right? Yep. Uh, the ocelots have been dealt with in uh, in one piece. I think he must have something against mobs or something. He seems to like killing them for some reason. He's a bit. He's gone a bit mad with power these challenges, hasn't he? Uh, yeah, I might as well go to bed now uh, if I can get to bed anyway. Let's <laughs> see. He's uh, he's getting kind of late. I might even just bring a bed with me. That might be another option. Uh, let's see. Yep. No, we can go to bed. So that's good. Uh, no mobs are going to spawn. I don't want to be working, you know, with mobs around me and everything. That's just that's just no fun at all. That's that always ends in disaster for me. <laughs> so if we uh, if we do now, uh, we should be okay. Alright, so, uh, around here we go, there's me two rabbits, they're looking happy over there, it's hard to see, I oh, forgot we could just go straight across this frozen lake, it's a, it's a brilliant lake that's frozen, I'm glad it stayed frozen over, uh, I really like it, I like the trees, it just makes, it reminds me of Ar the Antarctic, you know, all nice and uh, snowy, okay, so anyway, what I also did, is I need to add uh, this stone path across there, uh, stone bricks over there for the, the cinema, but I've added like these sandstone little tracks going into them, just to make it look that little bit nicer, I uh, keep that crafting table there all the time, just in case I, I need a crafting table, as I inevitably do, and yeah, we just got these these, like pathways and stuff which I think looks quite good uh, fits the bill well okay anyway let's eat this steak I was tempted to eat the raw fish but I prefer cooked fish you know raw fish are all right but they're not they're not perfect you know they could be better so I'm just gonna eat uh, the, this <laughs> the, 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 the steak for now uh, so two three four so yeah this is gonna be uh, I'm gonna get the outside done uh, it's not gonna be too big uh, as you can see, I've actually done the uh, the outside lay it, like the uh, the corners of it, just so I know what I'm working with. So it's not too big. It is not a difficult build at all, which is uh, always good news. So we'll bring that. Uh, whoops, I actually uh, placed that too fast. <laughs> okay, I'll, I'll just mind that way. I only take a second to do. There we go. 
And yeah, we basically just got to bring it all the way around. So uh, again, we could just do that uh, nice and simply. Uh, there we go. And finally, this one all the way there. So once we've done that, uh, we're going to get out the red stain clay and do the walls, okay? Uh, so I'm just going to grab the first stack and do that. I, I don't know if I brought too much. Hopefully, I brought too much. It's always good to bring more rather than not enough, I always think. Uh, if you don't bring enough, it usually ends in disaster. And I've left a gap there, you'll notice. Uh, that gap is actually going to be for a window. So that's uh, my thinking behind that. And I'm going to have a window on the back as well, uh, you know, just to get light in, you know. Let, let people see, you know, have the shop window so people can uh, see in the shop window and have a look. I don't know if many people come out all the way out here to us. I feel like I'm really far away, like out of my world, but the way it's like extending, I, like this is the only, really the only place I can extend like all the shops and, and stuff like that to. Uh, so I, I kind of have no choice. Uh, so that's, that's, that's why I'm doing that. Uh, yeah, so, I mean, it is, it is extending quite quite a lot, like, it's, it's quite big, like, I was just walking around it, and I realised it is quite large now, so we're, we're starting to get somewhere with uh, with size, it has been for quite some time, considering it took me an hour to toll all the way around it, I suppose you, you could say, yeah, it's going to be quite big, isn't it? Uh, well, anyway, what I'm also going to do is, if I get out my, my shovel, in fact, no, I'll tell you what I'm going to do, in a tactical move, because my inventory, no, 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 it's okay, never mind, uh, ignore what I just said, <laughs> I'm going to just mine all this away, and I'm going to... Uh, I'm going to work on the floor. So the floor is going to actually in involve red stained glass. Yes, it looks it looks quite nice as well. So I kind of like the, the way it's designed. Uh, it's also going to involve a bit of quartz. So we're going to need to mine this away uh, to be able to place down that quartz. Uh, what also, so I guess the quartz goes down there. Hmm. I think we can actually give, make a start on that. So uh, the quartz is sort of going to do something like this. And then uh, come all the way across like that. And then also fill in those gaps. And then I'm, I'm going to... Uh, I'm going to need to do the same here, in fact, yeah, because, uh, well, not all the way, though, yeah, it's a little bit of a, a tricky one, I think I'm going to come across five, so one, two, three, four, five, and then I'm going to just going to have, like, some blocks like that, uh, so that's sort of the way the, the, the floor is going to work, and then uh, I'm going to fill this in with red stained glass, but you see, down here, there's going to be chests in here as well, so these chests are going to be what you can buy your stuff from, uh, so if I, if I, if I keep mining this out, because they are going to need to go anyway, so we might as well mine them, uh, that is also going to need to go, and these down here as well, I wonder if I did bring enough quartz, I'm not sure, I think I might have some in the chest at home still, I think, yeah, I think I've got a few left over, so if we do need to get some more, uh, we should be okay, uh, so yeah, we're going to mine down here as well, there we go, that's absolutely spot on, uh, I'm also going to get a bit of red stained clay, uh, just to fill in these gaps, we'll put that down there, hello, hello, line, and you were outside for most of this, if you decide to uh, venture inside, uh, okay, so I'm going to put you in there, and then what I'm going to do is just going to fill this, okay, we've only got a stack left, so we're probably going to struggle, you know, <laughs> we're going to struggle, <laughs> can't believe I forgot some of it, oh well, oh well, uh, let's, uh, let's bring this along here, there we go, and uh, that's sort of that, that bit of the floor done, and what I'm going to next do is get my red stained glass out, and uh, do that. The only thing I ever need it for is I'm going to need a bit of quartz. And I should be okay, actually. I think I did bring enough, actually. It makes a change, doesn't it, that I need to bring enough stuff. Uh, so we're going to do that. I should probably get the roof done shortly as well. Uh, that's going to involve some slabs and stuff. Uh, I think it looks uh, it's quite nice, but I say about everything, so I'll let you guys be the judge of that. Uh, I'm going to get my trap chest. I'm going to get them down as well. So, uh, the reason that I'm doing trap chests and normal chests is that you can actually put them side by side. Like, say I put two normal chests next to each other, they go into one thing. But if I put trap chests and uh, the other chests, a normal chest next to each other like that, it just, it looks it looks a little better, you know, and it's, it's just a little trick. Uh, you probably knew it, uh, because, uh, you know, I, 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 den I generally don't know anything that you guys don't know. If I know it, you know it, generally. <laughs> uh, what I'm going to do now is I'm also going to get uh, a trap door right there, and then I'm going to put a lever down as well. And uh, there we go, so when we flick that lever, uh, we uh, you can go in and out, and this is sort of behind the counter area. Uh, okay, so if I can get back back away from the counter, uh, I'm going to get out some uh, some blocks of quartz and just fill in uh, like that, because that's going to be like above the counter. And then I think what I'm going to do is I'm also going to get some slabs as well, yeah. And then uh, just slab. Oh no, I I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll get my stairs out first, because that's that's going to be a little bit better. And then the stairs are going to sort of come round here. In fact, I'm going to need to put some. Well, these blocks, yeah, you will, mm, yes, and I'm not sure if you'll be able to see these blocks or not, so I'm just going to place them anyway. Uh, it can't hurt to place them unless I run out of them, but I think, I think we're okay. Oh, no, these are the wrong way up. Uh, they need to be upside down stairs, uh, so what we can do is we can just mine them away, no problemo at all. And then the same thing uh, across here, so that goes around, oh, wow, I keep, I keep messing them up. 
<laughs> okay, Bubba's will die. I should just take more care. I've actually got a new controller as well. This is like the first time making a video with it. So it is a lot easier to do. Like, I can make small movements and stuff, you know, like I can turn. So it's way it's way easier, to be honest. Uh, so I have no excuse now not to build properly. Just as, as I, putting that out there now. If I, I can't go, oh, I've got a bad controller. I can't sprint. Oh, I've got a bad controller. You know, I, I've got no excuse. To be honest, I've got an excuse there because I did clearly place that in the right place and then it decided it was going to uh, move away. So I'm blaming that for that. But yeah, okay, so we've managed to get that down. I'm going to get a few torches down as well just to get some nice lightning because you know how important it is to keep a shop well lit uh, so the customers can see what they're doing and everything <laughs> okay so i've done that i'm happy enough with that i think uh, if i go through here i'm also going to do the same sort of slabs idea uh, inside here i think um i think i'm going to do it like that level though Yes, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to get on top of the roof, and we're going to continue over there. So, uh, let's go up onto the roof, and I'm going to have to just build my way up to do this. And what we're going to do is we're going to, we're going to do the decorational thing up there. Uh, so, we're going to need some redstone lamps, uh, blocks of redstone, and we're also going to need, of course, the uh, the quartz. No, we're not going to need quartz. We're going to need stone slabs, of course. <laughs> okay, so, uh, in this corner, we're going to have, like, a, a redstone lamp. In fact, every corner, we're going to have a redstone lamp like this and then uh, on uh, like next to it we're gonna have two uh, of those so this this kind of just adds that redstone effect to it you know oh i didn't i nearly pushed you off there lightning sorry <laughs> so yeah adds a redstone effect and uh, yeah because it's, it's got redstone blocks and stuff like that on top which i think looks quite nice and then what we do is we're just gonna bring this uh these slabs all the way along the roof and i'll tell you what i'll give you a steak you've been well behaved lightning have a steak eh? that should keep you happy <laughs> uh, so anyway we're gonna keep doing this there we go, and uh, just bring them all the way along the top like that, and then if we just sort of hide uh, that gap, then nobody will know about it, nobody will be none the wiser, and we've saved a few blocks there, <laughs> like half a block. <laughs> uh, okay, so uh, let's put them there. Oh, you are hanging on by a thread there, Lightning. <laughs> Feel free to come closer on Lightning, you know, we're all, we're all friends here. Uh, okay, so I'm going to mine that, and I think we have to just place it down one more, yep, I'm going to have to place it down one more time. Uh, oh. You you wouldn't just go in there, he just jumped off. He was stood on the edge there, he was like, you know what, I don't want to fall off the edge here. I want to go over on this side and just jump off, yeah, and that's basically what he did. That sounds just like you, Lightning. Uh, so I think we've done the majority of the outside. Like, in fact, if anything, all of the outside. We just need to add a few pressure plates in the door, and then uh, I think we've done that. And it should be well lit up now from the roof, you should be able to see it, which is another uh, another good factor. Alright, so I'm going to get these pressure plates down here, and then uh, put the doors down just so we can get in and in and out very easily. And we're also going to need some buttons on here so we can get uh, get out as well. We don't, don't be one the, it's one of those shops, no, no, it's one of those shops where you go in, and then you can't leave until you buy something. <laughs> That's actually quite a clever idea, I might have to implement that into a shop, it's like, you have to buy the, something from the shop to, <laughs> to get out. Uh, that's, 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 that's ingenious, that is, I tell you, these businesses need to, uh, need to take up my ideas. <laughs> uh, okay, so, I'm going to chuck them up there, uh, the block of redstone, and them can come down, I've got some stuff in a chest out here which I just need to grab, that's, that's the things I need to do, so, in this chest, uh, are a bunch of items, yeah, that I'm just going to grab, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put these in the item frame, so I want to put this on this side, actually, uh, so we're going to put that like that, uh, them there, and a redstone lamp there, and a repeater, and then the final thing's TNT, eh? You, you need a license to buy the TNT, though. Uh, what else is going to go in? I think, yeah, that comparator, and I think there was one more thing, but I can't think what it was, <laughs> I can't see it. Oh, uh, uh, yeah, oh, comparator in the hopper, of course, yeah, <laughs> the hopper right there. There we go, so that's that's pretty much the redstone shop completely done, and I think it looks it looks rather smart, to be honest, I'm, I'm quite pleased with it. Uh, I just need to put some stock in, really, now, and that's uh, that's about it, so I'll add a little bit of stock, some uh, some redstone uh, <laughs> some redstone blocks, and I think that's pretty much all the redstone stuff I've got on me. Um, yeah, and if we have a little look from the outside, we can just add a few torches just to keep it lit up. Uh, so let's have a look, yeah, because uh, I don't want any, any mob spawning too near, you know, any, I suppose I don't mind if a mob spawns inside it, you know, and we can <laughs> we can maybe get a, get a deal struck up and they can sell some, or, or buy some, in fact, uh, I'm going to put that, I'm going to put that about there, I think, I think that'll look okay, uh, and I'll put this on this side, uh, like that, and then if I could put it in a similar place, uh, it was roughly there, I think, so a block, a three block, I always like to make sure it's just symmetrical, you know, you don't want to, yeah, you don't want to <laughs> not to be symmetrical, I'm also going to get myself, uh, uh, yeah, an axe to mine that away, I like to be quick and efficient, and uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure that's the redstone shop, uh, if I could maybe make a sign, yeah, I'd like, I'd like a sign, I don't signpost enough of these things, do I have a sign on me, no, I'll go and manage, we're going back to basics now, you know, back to the basic Minecraft uh, techniques, <laughs> Make it, uh, mining your wood and crafting yourself a sign, so let's, uh, let's get all that and craft it, 
Look like we even got a sapling from that. And I know there's a crafting table over here, so I don't, then I don't have to craft another crafting table. Uh, oh, no, I, actually, I want to, because then I want to put one somewhere over here, uh, just to make it easier. Uh, yes, that's ingenious. So I'm going to put a crafting table here. There we go. I think it's good to have, you know, you can never have too many crafting tables in my books. Uh, so a sign, uh, and we'll, I'm going to need a few more planks for that. And then I think if we go here, yep, there we go. We managed to craft ourselves a sign. Uh, so let's go over there. It's starting to get dark as well. We wanted this before any mob spawn. <laughs> uh, so we're going to put it here, uh, the redstone shop. So let's just quickly type that out as well. Uh, get that. So the red stone, <laughs> the redstone shop. So it's, it's, it's quite, a, quite a nice little place, isn't it? Let's get that final bit typed out. Uh, it would be easy if I had a keyboard, but you know me, I'm, I'm not, I'm not uh, organised like that. Uh, there we go. So the redstone shop, hey, looking, looking in all its glory. It's a bit, a little bit different to the other buildings, you know, a bit smaller, humble little domain, you know. No, doesn't need to be a huge shop to be a successful shop. Uh, the person who owned it didn't have all that much money just to invest in it, you see. So he just bought himself, you know, a small little shop. Uh, just keep going. <laughs> Look at this. The pet shop is huge. The TV shop is this massive thing. You know, KFC, the cinema. <laughs> you got that tiny little redstone shop down there. Oh well. Uh, like the red, it's kind of similar to the red hot shop, but then like not similar because I use red stained clay on the outside. Uh, like I tried to use different blocks for different builds. You know, sometimes I did get into a, a mode where it's like pretty much the same blocks for everything kind of thing. Like I would use like bricks and and wood and wool, and that was it. So I, you know, using other things like red stained clay and, and stuff like that, I think it's spruced up. Like I tried to do, yeah, I try I always tried different builds. Look at this, I haven't even added potions in yet. I need to I need to do that. This, this is just me going around. Have we got any, any spare item frames? Oh, I have got quite a few because uh, I just want to put a few. Like on the walls here, uh, so now I've actually got a good a good opportunity to do that. Well, I've got some. In fact, if we put them like, and I want to put one in the middle as well, actually. So yeah, I need to top that item frames. Note to self, I'll have it done by next episode, I promise. <laughs> but yeah, guys, thanks so much for watching this video. If you did enjoy it, then make sure you leave a like. Uh, it really shows your support for the channel, and also subscribe if you're new around here for daily videos of Minecraft. And hopefully, I will see you next time.